Hello, everybody, and welcome to Top Hits or Sad Bits. I'm your host, KP, and I'm here with Nia. Okay, now I'm here. There she hey. is. All Night. You. And Desiree. I'm saying that one correct, am I? Hell no. No, like for earliest Desire. Desire? <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Um... And Top Hits or Sad Bits is a show all about artists' top fives on Spotify. Um, our contestants will have to identify the things wrong with the images that they're seeing. They will gain a point for everything they get correct. And there's some half points that they can get here or there. Um, is everybody ready? Yeah. Perfect. Let's get right into it. So this is an episode all about Tyler, the Creator. Our first game is top four mix-up we're gonna show you the top four songs that they have on their spotify and they're messed up so the first person to buzz in and tell me what the correct order of the first four songs tyler the creator has will get the point there's are we still friends new magic wand see you again and earthquake are in the top four do we have anybody that can identify what the correct order is? All right, all night. What's your answer? Um, is number one, uh, see you again. Number one is see you again. That is correct. Do you know what album that's from? Flower Boy. That's correct. Um. Do you know how long the song is for an extra point? Um if you get close, I'll I'll give you the I'll give you the it's answer. Like, it's like two minutes, maybe two minutes and, and fifteen seconds. Alright. Okay. We'll we'll see if that's correct when we go to the next page. Um do you know what the second song is? Earthquake? That is incorrect. Uh, next person to buzz in can try and guess what the second song is. All right, Nia. Um, wait, well, he said what? He said, see you again was first. Uh, are we friends the second? Are we still friends? That is incorrect. No fucking way. Desire, do you have the answer? You have a 50-50 chance of getting it right. Yes, ma'am, Desire. What do you think is the second song new magic wand um that is correct that is correct it is new magic wand um do you know what album it's on no but i know it's three minutes okay i think it's around three minutes all right um do you know what the third song is in that list desire Earthquake. Earthquake, that is correct. Um, A, and I never heard either one of these songs. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, do you know what album it's off of? I don't know any of his album names, so I'm going to have to... Oh, uh, his sophomore album. Boom. Um, I don't know if that's correct. Um it, it might be. Our fact checker's not in today, but I'm not going to give you that point. Um, can you take a guess on how long the song is? Two minutes. Two minutes. Okay. And, of course, that means the last one in the top four are Are We Still Friends? Um, and there's yeah, I believe the that. answers. Um, Zion, you guessed two minutes for See You Again and three minutes. I don't I don't think I'll give you that that half point there. Um, right. New Magic Wand. Um, Desire, you got correct. It's around three minutes, so I'll give you that half point. Um, and Earthquake is not two minutes, so you're not going to get that extra point there um all right on to the next one this is a question about now their top 10 songs i'm going to show you a list of 
all of them except for number nine and then show you four choices you will have to identify which one is their ninth most popular song on spotify so here's their top 10 see you again new magic wand earthquake are we still friends best interest cash in cash out cash in cash in, cash in, cash in. slash thank you um i don't know how to say number eight um number what's nine, your name what's your name number nine is the one you're going for and 10 is she um i'll give you a couple more seconds to take a look at that before i go to the next slide with your options um before i go to the next slide does anybody think they want to try to guess what the ninth most popular song is off the top of their head no <laughs> all right we'll go to the next one so is their ninth most popular song running out of time off the igor album lumberjack which is a single wolf off of the wolf album or sweet slash i thought you wanted to dance um from the call me if you get lost album sorry <laughs> all right there we go <laughs> oh no mia what is your guess i thought you wanted to dance i thought you wanted to dance that is correct that is correct you get that point um yes it was um we were all gonna pick it because it says brent fayaz on it I don't know. I was gonna say running out of time. That would all. I listen to that a lot. A good, a good guess. Yeah. Um. Yep. Sweet. I thought you wanted to dance. Was number nine. Great job, Mia. Um. Next question. Which album has more songs in the top ten? The one. Um. Sorry. Let me clear the buzzers real quickly. Okay. Please buzz in again. All right. Um, and then desire. Igor. Igor is correct. Um, can you tell me when that song was released? Huh? For an like extra album? Point. Yeah. Yeah, when that uh, album was released for an extra point. Uh, sometime in December? That is incorrect. I'll give you a chance to guess what Call me if you get lost. Release date is for for a point. Oh, I definitely don't know this one. Um, June, June something. That is correct. It is June twenty fourth. So wow, you will get that half point. Um, I'll take it. You can see there's a spelling error in there. Yep, Igor is the correct answer. <clears throat> um, Igor was published in may 17th of 2019 and then call me if you get lost was published in june 25th of 2021 we'll go to the next one now i will clear your buzzers which song is the top five of tyler's but on somebody else's um artist page is it caliucci's the weekend or Schoolboy Desire. I'm going to say Caliucci's. That is correct. It is Caliucci's. All right. Time for the fifth question. Which one of these releases is not in his popular release? Uh, all Night. Um, that was an accident. I feel like I feel like you should read the choices before I buzz, but I do know the answer. If if you know, you want me to give the answer. Um, if you know the answer before I before I can say all the answers, um, you're more than welcome to buzz in. Um, what is Goblin? What is your answer? The answer is Goblin. That is correct. That is correct. Uh, we'll go to the next question now. Of these albums, which one does he have more than one song on? Is it Oxymoron, Isolation, I Know, Nijo, Lil Boat 3.5, Doris, or 
the Odd Future Tape Volume 2. Again, you're looking for the albums, it could be more than one, where he has more than one song featured. Um, all Night? Um, is it that Odd Future Tape? He does have multiples on the Odd Future Tape. Um... There is more than one answer, though, if you want to try to identify um, what the other ones are. Um, is the is the next one Doris? Um, correct. The next one is Doris. Um, and then, yeah, keep on going. Okay, and then the, is the last one Isolation? No, that is incorrect. It is not Word. Isolation. Um. Does anybody want to buzz in and see if they can guess what the other album where he has more than one song on is? You've already been given two of the answers. Can anybody guess what the remaining ones are? Okay, doesn't look like anybody has an answer. Um, so I'm going to give the point to Zion. You had already guessed two out of the three. So here we're going to get the point anyway. I was just curious if anybody, if anybody knew what that last one was. Um, it is "I Know Nijo" is the one where he has more than one song on. Um, he can be found in "Lost and Found Freestyle" 2019, in "I Know Nijo" as well as "Come On Let's Go." In Doris, he is in "Sasquatch" and "Whoa." Hello? And, hello? Sorry. My my thing like messed up. I don't it's I don't right. know what it's happened. All right. <clears throat> um and on Odd Future, the volume number 2, he is in a lot of songs, um NY Ned Flander, Analog 2, Rella, P, H Capped, Sam is Dead and We Got Bitches. Um so those Where, What was the third album? The third album was I Know Nijo. Nigo. Nigo. But. Um, yes, those are the three albums. I Know Nigo, Doris, and The Odd Future Tape, Volume 2. Um, how's everybody feeling? It's a pretty close game so far. I feel good. I hope my I hope my contestants aren't, aren't intimidated. Yeah, the other contestants are nah. over there. All right, I hear from Desire. All right. Nia, you still alive? Yeah, I'm just watching Aiden Ross at the same time. Perfect, perfect. No problem. Get him on the stream. I'm kidding. Um, we're going to go no, to fine. the next question now. This next group of questions is called... What did they just say? A what did he say? Um, this is a quote from Tyler, and your job is to identify which album he set it off of and for an extra point you can guess what song specifically from that album the quote is from um the quote is tell these black kids they can be who they are dye your hair blue shit i'll do it too um first person to buzz in can take a guess yes all night um, is it, is it in the, the Igor album? Um, that is incorrect. Um, and just to, I, I forgot to say this information earlier. The songs that they are being quoted from are all from their top four of songs. So everything that we saw from the first question are the, the choices here for, for these. Nia, you had buzzed in next. Flower Boy. It is from Flower Boy. For an extra point, can you guess what song it is specifically from? Where the Flower Blooms. Yes, That's that is correct. That is very correct. Um, where the Flower Blooms. All right, the next quote is, I'm gonna clear your buzzers. The next quote is, what if my music is too weird for the masses and I'm only known for tweets more than beats? Um, first person to buzz in can tell me what album this is from. 
All right. All night. Um, call me if you get lost. That is incorrect. Um, yep. Desire and Nia, you have a chance to to steal this point now. Um, can you guess what album this quote is from? Um, if you need a reminder of the albums, you have Flower Boy, Igor, um, Call Me If You Get Lost, Goblin, and Best Interest, which is a single, could also be on this list. Um, Best Interest. You have to buzz in, please. Desire. Best interest. That is incorrect. Um, Nia, I'll give you one more chance to to say an answer before I finish it and move on to the I next know question. The song. I don't. I don't know the. What's the song? November. That is correct. November. Um, if anybody knows what album November is off of, I will let you steal that point from Nia. All right. All night. Um, Flower Boy. Correct. That is from Flower Boy. Nia, I'll still give you the half a point for the um, name of the song, but Zion, I'll give you the point for the album. Um, yes, it is, it is November from Flower Boy. Okay. The next quote is, Weatherman told me it wasn't raining. My stupid ass brought an umbrellas. Let me clear your buzzers. And first person to buzz in, um, tell me what album this is from. All right. All night and then Nia. Igor. That is correct. It is from Igor. Can you tell me what the name of the song is? Um, New Magic Wand. Um, that is incorrect. Uh, Nia, since you buzzed in, do you want to take a guess at what the name of the song is? Thank you. Um, no, that is not correct. Um, Desire, do you have um, any inkling of what this uh, what this song could possibly be named? Uh, no. All right, that's okay. Um, it is gone, gone. Thank you. She said thank you. <laughs> Shania said thank you. Oh, did she? She said it. She, oh, did, okay. she said it. That was okay. her answer. All right, all right. Yeah, all right. she well, said thank you. Shania, you get another half a point. Sorry, I, I suppose I was looking at the gone gone and not at the thank you part. Um, awesome. This is the last quote now. I will reset your buzzers. I want to see you. Give me five minutes. Paparazzi probably got like five pictures. All night. Um, Best interest, album and single. That is correct. It is best interest, um, the album and the single um that's great that's wonderful um it's still a still a pretty close game this next question is how many listens the number of zeros you see is the correct amount of zeros um whoever gets closest to the number i will give the point to um and you have three chances to get a point um so his number one song see you again his number two song new magic wand his number three song earthquake what are the um, listens on Spotify for those songs? But then, all right, Nia. Um, I'm gonna just guess. I'm gonna guess. That's a million, right? Um, yes, that is one hundred million. One hundred million. Correct. Okay, I'm gonna say eight hundred million for "See You Again." Okay. I'm gonna guess. Five for New Magic Wand, and I'm gonna guess. I'm gonna guess another eight on Earthquake. Okay, all right. Um, let's see. So you guessed eight, five, and eight all night. Um, what are your guesses? Um, I feel like I feel like it's something ridiculous. Um, so I'm gonna say. I'm gonna say like, just just for fuckets, 
for see you again 6900 million plays okay um and then maybe like 40k 40k million plays for new magic wand and then i guess that would leave earthquake with with 220 200 200 million yeah yeah, yeah, yeah 200 yeah. million yeah all right desire um do you have any guesses for me um i'm gonna say see you again is at 600 million okay um new hunt new magic one is gonna be at 300 and earthquake is gonna be at 200 million okay so this one is a guess. little interesting hey that, that your guess is as good as anybody else's um where the third most popular <laughs> song actually has more listens than the second most popular song um so zion you were very close on see you again and new magic wand um not very close at all for earthquake um but desire i could say the same about you um getting number one and number two fairly close um and number three nowhere near shania i get i mean nia i guess uh tyler the creator is not as popular as you thought he was um so i'm going to give the point to desire i think you got uh that 300 million was closer to 323 million than the 40 400 million that all night guessed um so that is a point for desire all right i'm going to clear your buzzers and we'll go to the next question um so this one is a fairly complicated one you'll have to look at all of the options here um what is wrong with this playlist each of those rows has something wrong with it and it is your job to identify what you believe is wrong with um, the information for this song. Um, take some time to look it over um, and buzz in when you feel confident to give me what you think is incorrect for one through seven. So so you say every single one, there's something wrong with it. Correct. Every single one has and, something wrong with it. And we get a point for answering all of them or you get a point for each one um you get a point for gathering the most incorrect information compared to everybody else hmm. and once you all say your your answers i will reveal who got closer just like we did with the um previous question <laughs> All right, all night, you're the first to buzz in. Um, all right, I guess the date for cash in, cash out is wrong. Um, okay, you say, uh, uh, uh. um, and number two, Puppet doesn't have ASAP Rocky in it. Um, I don't know what's wrong with number three. I'll come back to that one. But for number four, Dom's never had an album called Domo Twenty Three. Um, so that's not that's not a real album. Uh, number five, that's the wrong cover picture. That's that's the Flower Boy cover picture. Uh, number six, I don't think her is that long sounds crazy and then uh num number seven um i i just don't even think that's a real that's a real song to be honest with you a pepsi commercial uh and then and then back to number three i guess i'm gonna also just say the time the duration is too long maybe okay but I do remember Cherry Bomb being a long song. All right. 
Okay, those are all good guesses. Um, uh, Nia or Desire, whoever buzzes in next, can give me their can give me their guesses. I'm going to give you all a, a one minute timer to buzz in. Alexa, set a timer for one minute. If you do not take any guesses, Zion will automatically win this point. You have a chance to get some things correct if you make guesses. And it can be as simple as the title's incorrect, the album cover's incorrect, the album name is incorrect, the date, the duration, you don't have to get very specific. You can take a guess based on the groupings. Alexa, stop. Okay, does anybody want to buzz in? Desire or Nina? Nia? Uh, yeah, I literally have no answer for this. All right. Nia, do you have any guesses at all? So Zion doesn't, uh, so All Night does not automatically get the point? No, I, I got no clue. All right. Yeah, this this is a hard one, and there's one there's one similar to this later. Um, so All Night, you got, um, let's see, that one. Um... Okay, you got three out of you got four out of seven correct. Um, so the problem with number one is cash in, cash out does not feature Pharrell, Twenty One Savage, and Tyler the Creator. That is just their song. They do not. They are not featured on it. It is just their song. So. A tricky, a tricky question. Um, you're correct that Puppet does not feature ASAP Rocky. Um, Cherry Bomb is, you're correct on the duration. It is a little bit less time than we put, a little bit more time than we put on the previous slide. Um, the album is correct. For uh, number four, while well, that is incorrect, is the correct answer. Um, you are correct on number five, that is the wrong album cover. Number six is not called her, it is called she. Um, and for number seven, it was a Coca-Cola commercial, not a Pepsi commercial. Um, and it is a real song. Um, I did not listen to it while doing my research, um, but he... Well, but see, but see, the only reason why I, I didn't think it was like that because Coca, I mean, because it was Pepsi, you know. Mm -hmm. See, that? I saw it right there. I was mm -hmm. like, he never did a thing for Pepsi. Come yeah. on, you know. But he did do something for Coca Cola. Um, Word. So yeah, isn't that isn't that fun to to learn? All right. That is. Um, I also have a qualm with she and her. Mm -hmm. Uh, on the deluxe edition of Goblin that Tyler released. He actually did include the song Her, which used to be on Bastard. Mm. Um, okay. <clears throat> well, you get that point anyway, but um, thank you. Thank you for that correction. Um, we'll move on to the next question. Um, this one's on timelines. There is only one thing incorrect with this timeline, and it is that a single song is out of place it does not have the right date which song or album is in the incorrect year um, let me clear the buzzers and um, feel free to buzz in when you think you have the answer all night is it yonkers um, it is yonkers do you know what year it should be uh... 2012 that is incorrect you're very close um it is yeah. another song from 2011 word um so yes yonkers was in the wrong place um it should go sandwiches from 2011 yonkers from 2011 domo 23 which is a single in 2013 cherry bomb the album in 2015 group b which is a single in 2020 and Call Me If You Get Lost, which is an album he released in 2021. Um, 
here is one similar to the playlist one we did before uh, but a little bit different these are all songs that tyler has been featured in um except for a couple of them which of these songs does tyler not feature in uh the buzzers are clear so whoever thinks they can pick out which ones he is not in. uh desire the grinch um there is more than one so you are welcome to to guess more than just the grinch um i'm gonna say black jesus okay um uh, do you think that there are any other songs yeah. that he didn't yeah. involve himself in? I don't know what nobody Say it one more time. Um, the, do you think that there are any other songs that he's not in from this list? Just a stranger. Okay. Is that your last answer? Um. Oh, and that the remix, the one at the bottom. But Nia, you, um. Responded next. Uh, you buzzed in next. What are your answers? Okay, no guesses from Nia, I guess. Um, all night, you buzzed in last. Do you have your guesses on which songs um, he has not been featured in? Uh, Black Jesus, My Own, and uh, You're a Mean One, Mr. Grinch. Those are my final answers. Okay. Nia, are you sure you don't want to give any answers? All right. Um, so the answers are, he is not in Just a Stranger. He is not in Black Jesus. He is not in On My Own. Um, he is in the rest of them. So yes, he is in um, You're a Mean One, Mr. Grinch. Um, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, wait, wait. So in the first one, the only reason why the first uh, featuring Tyler created part one or whatever, that was wrong because it actually wrote featuring Pharrell? Um, yes, that was what made it incorrect. Okay. Was that okay. they did not feature those artists Perfect. that was their song. All right. And I only picked the Grinch because I was like, oh, he, he wrote that. So that doesn't, I feel like that's not a feature. Okay. <clears throat> Um, that's, I think when on Spotify, when you look at things that he's in, he, this doesn't classify as his album. He wrote the song, but he's featured on the album. Um, Word. so that's, okay. that's how I, so that's how I did that. Um, I can respect it, uh, but you do make a good point. You do make a good point about him writing the song and technically he's not featured on it. Um, so I will take that into account for another time um so desire you got black jesus and just a stranger correct and zion uh, all night you got black jesus and my own correct so i will give you both a point for that now we're on to the final question um it looks like all night's going to win but um if all night wants to do all or nothing um somebody else could could win the game um so what do you think all night do you want to go all or nothing with your points or are you uh surefire surefire gonna win with with your amount of points uh if you answer this correct or not <clears throat> um you know what I don't I don't really care if I win, honestly. Yeah, fuck it. I'll do all or nothing. Okay. All right. All night is in, all or nothing. So for this final question, where in the world has Tyler been banned? Now the circles you see on the map do not necessarily correspond to the answers I want you to give. Um that is just the default for the picture that I chose here. Um and there's a little blurb for each of the colors. So you have three options here. The pink one, they banned him because he, well, he was going to have a gig and it was soon canceled is the information that, that I was able to get. Um, for the yellow one, 
they banned him for violence and intolerance of homosexuality. Um, and for the third and last one, they banned him because they deemed him to be a potential threat to public order. Um, Nia, you've buzzed in. Um, where do you think that Tyler, the creator, has been banned from? I know he's banned from the UK. Do you know uh, which of those circles you it's would the, say is the UK? Uh, it's the one that he canceled on. Okay. All right. Do you have any guesses for the other two? Mm, bro, I literally know. Um, and yellow is Australia, but I don't know the last one. Okay. Um, uh, uh, next person to buzz in can give me their guesses. I really don't know, bro. That's fair. Um, if you all just want to to pass it on to the answers, um, we can do that. If nobody wants to take any guesses. Um, well, I, so if I don't answer in the all or nothing, that just means I automatically get nothing, right? That is correct. Okay. Um, do I need a buzz or can I just give my answers real quick? Um, you can give your answer real quick. Okay. Um, uh, I'm, I'm going to say New Zealand for one of them. I don't know which one, but New Zealand. Uh, because of that one song, he was like, He got banned from New Zealand. Um, I'll also say the UK, uh, because that sounds that sounds kind of I believe that honestly. Mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. and then my final answer would be like Sydney, Australia, or somewhere around that area. Because when they used to do Loiter Squad, they went to Australia and they got banned. Okay. All right, good answers, good answers. Um, Desire, do you have any guesses from where Tyler the Creator might have been banned in the world? No. <laughs> wait, wait, no, I should make a random guess. Um, yeah, make a random guess. I feel like he got banned from... Um, no, I'm just gonna regurgitate the answers from earlier, so I'm gonna just like not. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah, that's fair. Um, okay, so he has been banned from the UK, which Nia and All Night, you both got correct. Nia uh, recognized that it was the pink um, because of the canceling. Ah. So that was very good on Nia's part. Um, the yellow was Australia. So you, you both um answered correctly nia was able to correctly identify that it was the intolerance to homosexuality um for australia and the green one was new zealand oh, let's fucking go which all night you did get correct um and nia you did not have an answer for oh fuck i did not see that coming oh yeah both on 66 percent. i'm gonna break this up Hey, that's yep. this is the last question, so we're almost we're almost done here. Um, so I will give the point to Nia just because she was able to get a lot of the colors correct, um, and you have a lot of points anyway all night. So to tabulate the scores, oh, all oh, night you got smoke. nine points. Nia, you got. Oh, don't go in there. Points. Thank goodness. And Desire, you got five and a half points. So in first place, we got um, All Night. In second I place, I, I jumped up there. We got Desire. And in last place, we have Nia. Um, very close game for a lot of it, especially the, the, for the second and third place. Um, oh. So, oh, shit. I thought I was Joker at that point. Thank you very much, everybody, for playing. That is the first episode of Top Hits or Sad Bits with our winner, All Night. Um, and join us next time for another game about the top fives of the music that you love. Um, thank you for joining the live stream, everybody. Make sure you follow everybody on their social medias. Um, all Night, you won, so... Uh, 
give people the shout out uh, you want first. What do you want to What do you want to tell the people about yourself? Get that silhouette. Uh, subscribe and provide to Jesse Dominguez. Thank you. Have a good night. All right. Uh, Desire, is there anything you'd wish to plug to the people? I would say, um, <laughs> I got so many channels that, um, let's see. No. Well, that's fine. Anything you want to send me, uh, text me any links, and I will put them into the description of this video. That'll um, work. Um, all right. Nia, uh, what would you like to plug to the people? I have nothing to say. Tyler's a goat. That's it. All right. Tyler's the goat. Nothing more needed to be said. Um, all right. Make sure you subscribe, like, share this with everybody who loves music, and we will see you all next time. Um, bye.